Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is secret of subnet mask. Every host, every computer on a network has IP address and a subnet mask. If you use a Mac, you can open your terminal and type in ifconfig a to get your computer's IP address and subnet mask. For Windows users, you can start your Windows command prompt and type in ipconfig slash all and then hit enter, and you can find your computer's subnet mask IP address and many other pieces information. Here is my computer's subnet mask. 255.255.255.0 and IP address. What is subnet mask? Why does a computer need a subnet mask? Subnet mask look like IP address. It's a 32-bit long, the same length as IP address, but they are different. Subnet mask in binary is a string of ones followed by some number of zeros. For example, my computer's subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. If I convert them into a binary number, it looks like um, this. The, there are 24 ones followed by 8 zeros. In shorthand, we use slash 24, which simply means this subnet mask has 24 ones, the rest is 8 zeros. Together, it is a 32-bit long. Here are more examples. Slash 8 in shorthand means the subnet mask has 8 ones followed by 24 zeros. And in decimal format, it is 255.0.0.0. Slash 16 in shorthand means the subnet mask has 16 ones followed by zeros. And in decimal value, it is 255.255.0.0. But subnet masks are not necessarily of either 255 or 0. They can look like this. Slash 5 means the subnet mask has 5 ones, the rest are zeros. And in decimal format, it is 248.0.0.0. Slash 20 means the subnet mask has 20 ones followed by 12 zeros. In decimal is 255.255.240.0. One more example, slash 25 means 25 ones followed by 7 zeros. In decimal is 255.255.255.128. Now we understand what is subnet mask, even in a three different formats, shorthand, binary format, and decimal format. Our next question is, why do we need subnet mask anyway? Let's use an example to answer this question. Look at this picture. On a local area network, sunny classroom, Computer A wants to talk to computer B, which is also on the same local area network. Meanwhile, computer A also wants to talk to computer C somewhere over the rainbow on the internet. But how does computer A know computer B is local and computer C is remote? Well, that's the secret of subnet mask. Let's think and do as computer A does step by step. Let's list computer A's subnet mask, its IP address, 
computer B's IP address and a computer C's IP address. And then we convert these decimal numbers in, into binary numbers because computer A is dumb and it only knows binary number 0 or 1. Next, let's just compare computer A's IP address with computer B's IP address only, but we compare them with the help of subnet mask. Computer A's subnet mask has two parts or two segments, one's part and zero's part. Let's separate them so that we can easily see these two different parts. Now the computer A would compare its IP address bit by bit with the computer B's IP address only under the first part of subnet mask, which is 111111 part. Every bit is compared and you can see they are all the same. And then computer A has a reason, has a strong reason to believe computer B is local. Why? Because the first part under the ones of a subnet mask is network ID part, a unique identifier for local area network. The second part on the zeros of a subnet mask is host ID part, an ID assigned to a different host on a local area network. Since both computer A and B share the same network ID, thus computer A knows computer B is local. Network ID is like a zip code in US to indicate a specific location or city. Now computer A needs to check if computer C is remote or local by using the same process to compare the IP addresses based on the subnet mask. And we will only focus one's part of subnet mask, ignoring all zero part. Computer A would compare its IP address bit by bit with the computer C's IP address only under the one's part of the subnet mask. The result shows they are different. Even by the second bit, computer A can already tell their network ID is different. Thus, computer A knows computer C is on the different network. Therefore, subnet mask is used by a computer to determine if any computer is on the same network or on a different network. You may say, yes, I get that. Then what's the next? How does computer A communicate locally and remotely? And what's the difference? What pieces of information and networking devices will be used respectively? Well, we will find all these answers in my next video. Thank you very much and see you next time.